What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we're talking about the current status of the iOS 14.6, 14.5.1, 14.4 1, and so on jailbreak. I also have some good news about this. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to manage your iPhone with everything that is on it, including your photos, your messages, your videos and so on. You can manage your iCloud account, your media library and you can even do phone switching from a device to another to you know get your data and so on. The software has a free trial and it's a Available on the AnyTrans website. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, I haven't made a video in five days and in case you were wondering where I've been and what's currently going on in the jailbreak community, I've been working on this. This is the iDeviceCentral.com where I present basically everything that's going on in the jailbreak community but in a written format. So you can check out the latest jailbreak news but you can also get the latest jailbreak downloads in here for all the versions and you can even check out which iOS version is supported and which is not. Going all the way down to iPhone on OS 1.0 so definitely check it out. But there were some questions on Twitter about Pawn My, which is going to be a WebKit based jailbreak for iOS 14.5 and newer. Many people asked me a couple of questions so I'm going to address them in this video and I'm going to start with the very first one and the most important. Will this jailbreak support iOS 14.4? And this is important because the exploit that they use, this one in here, which is basically published here on GitHub and it's a WebKit RCE or remote code execution in WebKit which powers Safari, this one doesn't work on 14.4. This was first introduced in 14.5 because the exploit itself is for a component called Audio Worklet which hasn't been introduced until iOS 14.5. So will this work on 14.4 then? Well no, not with that exploit and there is an important reason for that. We don't have the Audio Worklet on iOS 14.4 or 14.4.2. However that's only half the picture. If we get a kernel exploit exploit, which we still don't have for the 14.5 either, then I'm pretty sure we can get a WebKit exploit for 14.4 because those aren't exactly rare. Apple patches a lot of them in every single iOS version that they release. In fact, if you take a look at the iOS 14.5.1 security content, all it does compared to 14.5 is to patch a WebKit vulnerability and they even mention that they believe it has been exploited in the wild, which means that somebody might have used it against a victim in the past, which is definitely not great. But yeah, we do have WebKit vulnerabilities, there are a lot of them, because WebKit is indeed a pretty big component and it tends to have a lot of bugs. So it wouldn't be a problem, we would be able to get Pawn My, which would be a WebKit jailbreak, to work on 14.4 once we figure out an exploit for 14.4 WebKit. However, the most important component that everybody seems to miss is the kernel exploit. That's what we really need right now and that's what we miss. Now when this will be done, for those of you who have missed my videos, my previous videos on this, this is going to be a jailbreak in Safari, so basically you would go to an address, not this IP in here, probably would be like pawn.my or something like that, and you would just slide the jailbreak and at that point your device will be jailbroken in a couple of seconds. No IPAs, no sideloadly, no alt store or CD impactor or anything like that, you wouldn't need any signing because this would not expire. This is just a website and the exploit itself is basically JavaScript, so no need to run any Xcode made application or IPA or anything like that. But for this to happen and for this jailbreak created by our Ponage and the Manticore team, we would still need a kernel exploit. Now the important bit that makes it be a Safari jailbreak and not a normal IPA jailbreak is already here. We have the iOS 14.5 WebKit exploit already released, it's this one in here. This is what powers the jailbreak to be a Safari jailbreak and not like Uncover or Torin or Odyssey and stuff like that. So this one we already have and it's already usable, now we wait for the kernel exploit which may not be that far away because iOS 14.5 is no longer signed, 14.5.1 is no longer signed, 14.6 is signed and this one patched a ton of vulnerabilities in 14.5 and 14.5.1 which means that at this point security researchers will start releasing those vulnerabilities including kernel vulnerabilities just like this developer released their WebKit vulnerability in here because it was already patched according to them so they no longer needed to keep it private, however it turns out that this vulnerability wasn't exactly patched. I mean yes it was patched in WebKit where it actually is present, but Apple is apparently a little bit behind on the new patches with WebKit, so that vulnerability does work with 14.6. Which means that once we get a kernel exploit for 14.6 in the future, we will be able to definitely update Pawn My, which is the Safari jailbreak, to work with 14.6. And remember I'm talking here about the A12, A13 and A14 
devices. For the chick rain devices like the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8 and 10, you can already jailbreak 14.6, no problem. You can even jailbreak 14.7 beta. The only thing you cannot jailbreak right now with chick rain is basically the iOS 15 beta, but it's probably not going to take too much before CheckRain will support it. So this video doesn't really target the people who have a CheckRain device. You can already jailbreak, no problem. For those of you with iPhone 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Mini, 12, Tennis Max, 10R, and so on, we need a kernel exploit. And with that kernel exploit, we will be able to update Uncover. We will be able to finish Pwn My if you want a WebKit jailbreak. And why wouldn't you? It's much, much better than having to resign every seven days and so on. And we would be able to update the Torin. So whatever you fancy, it will be updated once a kernel exploit is out. But yes, that's currently what's going on in the jailbreak community. It's a little bit dry at the moment because we're in the waiting phase of a jailbreak when we wait for a kernel exploit to be released. Once that gets released, everybody will get into motion, every team will start updating their tools, and of course, we're going to get a jailbreak. But do not update the 14.6. This is probably the most important thing. And if you're thinking of trying iOS 15 beta, don't. You won't be able to downgrade as easily, and you will not be able to downgrade the 14.4 or 14.5 so you will be doomed so thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out